What's up everyone? This is Ben Foggins, Media Corner, back again with a brand new AK Afro Soul review episode for today. This one's going to be in a film that came out last year in 2021, which I actually watched this a couple weeks ago, uh, even before Oscar season. And as you guys can tell from what review I'm here, what movie I'm here to review you guys, is a film that has won the Oscars a couple weeks ago, in which this film won for Best Supporting Actor, Best Adapted Screenplay, and, a big, and of course the biggest of them all, Best Picture. So today I'm here to review the Best Picture winner of 2021, which this is a 2021 coming of age comedy drama, which was, and, and this was released on Apple TV, and that is Coda. Now Coda, uh, this was written and directed by Sean Hida, and this tells the story of a 17 year old girl named Ruby, who's played by Amelia Jones, who she has, she's part of a de this uh, deaf family, which consists her mom and dad and her brother, and she's the only member of her family who can hear while, while, while her family is entirely deaf. And she helps out her, her family um, to do their fishing business to make sure the business is going really well. And she always has to be on their side to basically help them out since of course they are deaf. And for Ruby herself, she basically wants to become a singer. And so she joins this singing choir in school. And we see her like trying to basically give build up confidence on trying to be a good singer and because all she wants to do in her life is that she wants to go to a, co a she wants to go to college to basically do well in singing although it's kind of making her family a bit worried about all of that since they can't hear her singing or anything like that and so we see ruby ruby's life kind of being being a bit of a struggle for her but for herself of what she wants to do as well as for her family that she wants to support with so we see Ruby dealing with all that throughout the majority of this film. So that's pretty much the story of Coda. So Coda, I did hear little brief things about this movie in 2021 last year, but not quite as much until I did hear, I started hearing much praise that this film received in the beginning of this year when I started getting into other films that I heard much praises about for award seasons like Belfast or Licorice Pizza or anything else like that. And so I was pretty interested seeing this one since after hearing so much praise this film received from critics and audiences as well as being played in some film festivals and a few awards it won and I did check this movie out and, and so I did start checking this one out um, after seeing this film how this film received at the um, the Golden Globes and the BAFTAs and so I um, I did watch this um, e even before Oscar night was about to come around and so I did watch this uh, just the week before um, the Oscars was about to happen. And all I got to say is, Coda, wow, this movie was such a remarkable achievement I've seen of last year. And this is such an extraordinary piece of filmmaking. And this has got to be one of my favorite films of last year because I freaking love this movie to bits here. I love the whole thing from beginning to end. Of how, and I just loved how much investment I, I just had out of myself while I was watching this movie from beginning to end while I was at home. What can I say about the acting? The acting here all around in this movie are fantastic and generally amazing. Amelia Jones in this movie was absolutely amazing here in this movie for the character material of Ruby. Um, I really loved what she was given for in the film because her character is shy, she's sometimes frustrated and for, from what she goes through in the film I just thought were absolutely incredible to watch on screen. Uh, while we see a character growing up because this whole film is a coming of age story which we'll talk about the whole storytelling later on um, but Amelia Jones here for what she was given for the character of Ruby I was genuinely moved with and I thought she absolutely nailed it here out of the park and I can't wait to see what else she does in the future since I think she was fantastic in the film and Troy Kotzer who won Best Supporting Actor who plays um, Ruby's deaf father he absolutely nailed it here in this film and he definitely deserved the Best Supporting Actor Award because he was fantastic in the movie. And for his communication in the film, I was generally blown away with for the whole communication he does with his hands and all that since he is deaf in real life and there's a bunch of other deaf actors in the film which the, the people who are deaf in the film were absolutely amazing here. Mo just mostly Troy Carter since, she, since, he won, since, he won his, since he won the Oscar. And he's he's definitely the best part of the film for whenever he's on screen. And like I said, every, and all, and as for everyone else in the film, they were all absolutely fantastic on screen. Most, but mo but most of them, all my favorite performances in the film are Amelia Jones and Troy Carter, because I thought both of them together 
were absolutely extraordinary to watch on screen. Um, the direction by Sean Heater, I thought the direction of the film was absolutely beautiful for the whole location shooting of this film since this is set in Massachusetts in the US. And there are some really great scenes of imagery in this film which I thought were absolutely beautiful as well. And the, the whole storytelling of this film was extraordinary for the, the life of Ruby of the life of Ruby with her, with her, for herself and for um, um, her relationship with her deaf family and as, ev as for everyone else she interacts with in the film, like her music teacher and the first relationship she she ever has in the film, which there are some scene there are some moments in the film that has three that was just had so many different emotions here in this film for me. Like there are some moments that does have a bit of comedy to it, which I didn't really expect that while I was watching because. Um, I just didn't, I was just, I was just, I was just surprised with that. And those scenes there were absolutely up, were just absolutely entertaining. And they gave me a smile, and they did give me a smile to my face. And there are some generally uplifting moments in the film, which I thought were absolutely amazing. And there are moments in the film that do tend to break your heart and be a bit depressing. Like um, her arguing with her family and then for everything else that she goes through in the film that kind of make her frustrated and all that. I thought those scenes there were absolutely moving and just, just did bring tears to my eyes, especially the ending in the film, which the ending, was, I found the ending just, it really touched me there and it, I, I had tears in my eyes and it was just such a perfect ending of the way this film ended. And I won't say what happens for those who have not seen Coda because I really suggest you go and see this film out on Apple TV or if it is playing at a local cinema near you after it won the Best Picture winner. So Coda, there's... There's just no single flaw with this film other than Coda is just a freaking masterpiece and it's definitely one of my favorite films of last year and if you missed your chance to see this if you haven't got Apple TV if it is playing in a local cinema near you this will definitely be a good ticket for you to, to purchase for yourself or you do have Apple TV it is available to watch there for free. So that's pretty much all I have to say about Coda overall other than this movie was just a masterpiece here from beginning to end and of course Coda deserves a five out of five. <laughs> yep. Again, I do really tend to agree with everyone. This is one of the best films of last year. And it definitely did, did deserve to win a few awards. And it definitely deserved to win a few Oscars. And I'm really happy this film did win a few Oscars. And again, I was really surprised this won Best Picture. I didn't really expect that. I wasn't... I didn't want this film to win Best Picture or anything. I was just surprised. Even after I've watched this film before, this one, this film did win a few Oscars. So, yeah, like I said, this is one of my, and this is definitely one of my favorite films of last year. And this will definitely be in my list of the best of the year list. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my AK After a Story review on Coda. And let me know what you think of Coda if you have seen this already. Do you absolutely love this movie, or was was not was this not really your cup of tea here? So again, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews. And as always, this has been Foggins Media Corner signing off.